You missed off a little guide about the Platinum Palooza related getting Rocket 5 star and 6 star from Spin and Win events, didn't you Richard? Yes, but for good reason. Also Rocket Scrapyard. Look, okay, there's lots of stuff that needs to be covered and I have updated the, uh, the side quest pack that I produce uh, on a monthly basis. The reason that this needs a full video devoted to it is there's a lot of things, twists and turns, that meet the eye. Now, through the different types of gold track, if you're non-spending like myself, and as well if you're spending, you're going to see yourself pick up in certain days, not all of the days, you're going to see, oh, there's crystals there, oh, there's scrap there. Again, we'll go into scrap in a minute and rocket scrapyard in a second, but you go, oh, hang on a minute, look, there's, there's blazing crystals, guns are blazing crystals. Those are very important, aren't they? Because it's part of the solo event. The spin it to win it solo event requires, as it says here, that you get points by opening up guns of blazing crystals. And you require 15 points, so that's 15 crystals to be opened. The thing that's confusing to me is how literal the announcement is on the forum as to this, because it says crystal spins. So what, do you allow the crystal to spin out 15 times? Well, that's not exactly what it says in, in the game, and obviously I'm not going to like point Kabam out on kind of the literal sense of how they post stuff, it's just how it kind of reads. Uh, but this leads on to a bit more uh, well, questions than answers. Why do we have more questions than answers? Well, as you can see, when you go to the selector, not that one because that doesn't, doesn't have guns, blaze, and crystals in, but this one uh, here, when it has like X about that just as one, right? So that's basically one point. One crystal is one point based on the in-game kind of solo events. There's Nexus gun, uh, Nexus guns blazing crystal, which I'll personally be going for as being Paragon. It is a case that that is only get one, and yeah, so that's just like one point, is it? If we then go to my spreadsheet, it uh, gives the following details. So if you add up all of the, uh, the the numbers there from spending to non-spending, it doesn't actually add up to what you require in any case. So there's questions, as I said, more questions than answers. And so the question is, and the answer, so like question first is, right, well, with day 15 and day 21 giving two crystals apiece, one on day 15, one on day 21 for non-spending players, you get two points. If you get the two non-spending points, plus if you are deciding to spend, you will get a further two points on day 21 and day uh, day seven. So you will get uh, six points total. That's that's not enough, is it? That's definitely not enough points in order to get what you need. So again, this is why more questions um, are raised of this particular situation and indeed this uh, Cavalier or whatever it is, spin to win it and the champion which requires, as we see, 15 points. So if you're non-spending, you can only get yourself, well, three star and you're three points away from getting a four star. So it seems a bit ridiculous. There seems to be like something of a bit of a weird thing here. The event in particular ends on the 32nd, uh, not 32nd, it ends on the 13th of December. But as I said, there's still more questions. The more questions are still kind of like pointed towards like what was put out on the forums. And maybe there's a lot more to this event that meets the eye and why this leads on to Rocket Scrapyard, which we'll talk about in a second. So what it says on the forums is that uh, the Blazing Furious, Blazing, Guns Blazing and Furious Crystals will be found in certain milestones um, of the Platinum Palooza event, okay? Furious Crystals, what bla Guns Blazing and Furious Crystals. And I've got to be honest, from kind of looking through this, I don't see any Furious Crystals. That Even with the, like the spending situation, if you kind of go right to the very end and kind of click on one of these uh, Crystal Shard doodars, there's where's the Furious Crystals. There's no, there's no Furious Crystals there. Again, more questions than we have answers for. And I don't know if there's, like a lot of this stuff has been like typo, information incorrect and stuff like that. There is something that kind of catches my eye with this, and maybe it's a case there's there's something else to come, but you kind of think, well, that's Guns are blazing solo event is meant to be for Guns are blazing crystals. It doesn't say anything about Furious Crystals and giving any points. But it does say that these crystals will be available in the Crystal Vault starting November 24th and running until November 26th, right? Okay, that's fine. They're not currently in game at the moment, but maybe they are, maybe there's something coming when it comes to a shard thing, or maybe something else is coming. It does also say that here, Furious Crystals. So it's like a, I don't know if this is like a part one or a part two to this. 
in any case, like Furious Crystals, that may be for something, some players that are lower. Like I might be jumping the gun and going, okay, well that's that doesn't reflect what I've got. I don't have the Furious, but I have the guns blazing. So some people below may have access to that one. I, again, I don't know um, just yet because I don't see it, but maybe that's something that's coming on or it's something that's um, applicable to the second part because it says, uh, and running until November, and then with the second run starting December 4th and running until December 6th. So it could be a case of that Furious Crystal is or associated with the December 4th and onwards, or it's a case that there's something else coming. And as I said, like the, the reason that there's so much confusion around this is that it doesn't feel like there's all the sufficient information that we require for this to go, oh, this is how this works, or this works, or this works. And why is this important? And why does the scrap side of things have some relevance? Well, I think that's where we're going to find more guns blazing crystals and i think we're getting a special event so i don't know if this event is going to be for next month but if you go into and the astute among you will notice that if you go and preview you will see that there's scrap scrap has returned and it says i use scrap to enter the rockets workshop side quest from december 7th to january 18th now that does actually give a tight window it would be a very tight window if it's a case that you could buy guns blazing crystals and then open them. And the guns blazing crystals might be the Cavalier crystals for next month. So you might for the month of December be opening up those. And if you open them up early between the event finishing, as we see here, December 7th, and the event in particular when it comes to the um, uh, what is it, spin and win, uh, you end on the 13th. So if you get enough scrap on the 8th, 9th, 10th, 11th, 12th, and 13th. So you've got like six days when the kind of event kind of goes in, the December event. So that could be how this all ties in. That could be the December event. That may give you the opportunity. And it's not guaranteed. That's the, the big thing with this, uh, with, with this particular analysis is it's not guaranteed. I don't 100% know. It's just a case of go, looking at this situation and going, okay, well, let's look at the facts. What are the facts at the moment? If you go to some of these um, these particular crystals, you, you won't see guns blazing crystals in any kind of great volume. Like, you know, we're clicking on one now, and there's one. How does one point there, and then one point on the 21st day for non-spending players get you anything? Unless Kabam is saying, hey, you get a three free star, and is saying to spending players, you don't really get much. So there must be more here that meets the eye, because... Kaban wouldn't do that. I mean, they say they do say like it's meant to like guarantee and uh, earn earn up to a guaranteed six star by opening these crystals. So I want to assume um, that and it says here like um, by opening new guns blazing crystal summoners who have not yet reached the you know, whatever. So like there must be something more there that meets the eye. There must be something more that's going to be happening on November twenty fourth to allow you to get more shards. Especially because you would you would look at it and go like, oh, there must be more of a chance here. It'd be a bit as it's a bit ridiculous to kind of go like, hang on a minute, like am I own so non-spending players are only getting two points and spending players are only getting like six points. It's it just would be a bit ridiculous um, for, for the month if that's if that's indeed the uh, the case. But as I said, we need more information on um, on the future of that one. But it's good to see that Scrapyard is coming back. And uh, if you want more information about the past of like what this event was like, then check out the link in the description. I found this uh, back when Kabam DK, I don't know if Kabam DK still works for the company. I was back in May 2017 and just goes over some information of the old war, the old uh, workshop. But uh, yeah, it looks like it's coming back. So you would go into the workshop, you grab your scrap, and then um, you would get to spend your scrap. And whether or not the scrapyard is returning back, again, I don't know. But that was the kind of the, uh, the the placeholder for the quest, which is special quest, Rocket Scrapyard, uh, Rocket's Workshop. And then you were able to go into the scrapyard. And how that would work is like similar to the quest this month is that you would kind of, or similar to Mutant Treasure Island, if you remember that one, in that you kind of like, well, you would use a key to unlock a path. Uh, or you'd use basically your scrapping kind of a currency form to get stuff that's on there. It's a fun thing. It'd be cool to see it return. Uh, but yeah, it looks like it is returning in some capacity, especially because it has been uh, come 
confirmed, whatever confirmed is, that's that's a weird way to say it, confirmed, it's been confirmed, uh, it's been confirmed, uh, simply by going in game and seeing that there's scrap, you get 50k scrap from doing the objectives, so your scrap may be, and this is the advantage, without you having to grind so much in the scrapyard, you may have the, oh, the workshop, sorry, you may have the scrap already available in order to go and grab those, um, those shards, um, for the, uh, the guns, guns blazing crystal, and then open them sooner in the month, Grab the six star for free and take it from there. Quite possibly, that's that's the case. But we don't know. As I said, there's more mystery to this particular scenario that meets the eye. I can imagine Kabam will allow us to get it, but they haven't kind of gone further. And maybe I'm being blind. I, I don't see it. But I've I've gone through this multiple times. I have to be so sure of myself with this, um, as to like the points. I had to kind of like, I've, I literally have clicked on each of these little chests like multiple times going, okay, well that one there's a gold pool and there's no, there's no, there's no guns blazing crystal. I've clicked on like, day 21, which I know there's one in, which you can see right there. And then there's day 15. Uh, there's one uh, right there. I, 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 as I said, I've had to click on these multiple times just so I'm not going completely bonkers. Unless Kabam is saying that you have to like, I don't know, get a chance at buying them for 300 units if they're going to be released. Uh, I don't know. Like, I would hope that's not the case. I've even double-checked going like, yes, it says two from Claw Crystal. So, as I said, more, much, many more questions that meet the eye. I'm going to end the video there. Um, I'm sure we'll cover this as we learn more info. Thank you very much for watching this video. Check out some other content located on the screen. What's your thoughts on this particular, well, confusion and information? Thoughts in the comment section, and we'll try and update it when we can. Cheers, everybody. Bye-bye.